just get down in here a little bit there and work some of that clear around if you know what I mean. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, I've been buffing the truck to get the overspray off it and it's been working really good. We're using some Meguiar's Medium Cut and we're using Brian's Buffer. So we've done here, here, and here. And let me tell you what, she's mint. So I'm gonna start and go up here and then we're gonna maybe move on to somewhere else here. How you want to do this is pretty freaking simple, really. You just want to give a little four dab will do you. And as you can see, four little dabs and a little squirt. As you can see here, the pad's showing some pretty good signs of black overspray. So it's working. We're just going to give her a few dabs. We'll do up here. You know, just give her a dab dab. I haven't done there yet. So let's start by here. So we're just all we want to do is just keep going. Keep moving around, you know. As Brian told me, just, just keep on going. I was told there's like four, oh, four coats of clear on this truck. I think it's three. I think it's three coats of clear on this truck. You know, we still have lots of clear workers. I said a wet sand it. So I figured why bother? Because these are working pretty good. Have a look at this, would you? Come here. Have a look. See what you think. Ready? Give your little wipe off. Look at that. Overspray gone. Look at the shine. Captain. Somebody said clay bar. I'm not. You can clay bar, yes, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna do the old buff job. Look at that, boys. Look at the shine there. Hey, can you see that? It's hard to see, but like here, look, I did all along here. Look at it. She's all clean right off. You can see every little friggin' dent and imperfection in the paint. She's so shiny, which is, you know, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, Captain. So there you go. So that works pretty good, but we're gonna carry on here and keep friggin' going. It should take me about 10 and a half fucking years or so. I'm gonna do a little bit of the hood right now. So maybe you can sit back and watch that happen. Let's get some of the stuff cleaned off her. You know, just give it a little wipe. Make sure there's no big, heavy, thick dirt pieces on here so you don't get all cocked over. I was gonna wait until I lowered the truck down a little bit to do this, but hey, let's just do it right now. Why wouldn't we? There we go. So we'll give this a dab and we'll start going at it. Okay, here we go. How you doing? Not too bad. Now first once you've done all this, you gotta do a, a swirl remover and then a polish, okay? But like I said, this is a medium cut. So it's just getting down in here a little bit there and working some of that clear around, if you know what I mean. I told you just gotta take your time with it. it. Takes a little while to do it. So there's no rush, you know. Make her a job where you're not in a rush to do her. And of course me, I got all winter, so guess what? I'll be bumping for two months now. We're almost done there. Starting to dry up now, so. Tell you what, this is a nice color blue when it gets popped. All right, let's take a look at that. See how she looks. Take a gander at her. Easy. There we go. Are you ready? Oh, dick. See, you could. I could have kept going. 
It's even not dry enough yet. But look at, look at the shine. Captain? Like I said, that's just a cut. That's not even an actual finish. Wow. How you doing? Girls, peoples. See? Look. Before. Huh? After. Wow. How you doing? Friggin' right. There's some spots, some whatever sat on it, you know, because it's been outside for a while, but the only way to really get rid of all that is if I wet sand the whole truck, which maybe one day I might do, but not right now. I want to get all the overspray off of right now, and it's working really good. Actually, she's going to look pretty nice when I'm done. Look at the difference there. Oh, wait. I might do some more of the bumper down here, because I started with the bumper with us. I gave her wet sand there, and she's a little cocked over, so I'm going to give her a little bit more down here, just to get the shine on her. Just to bring up the colors. Got them. If you watch this, Mike, I just want to let you know that I really appreciate this truck. But I really appreciate all the hard work you put into this truck to make all these beautiful body lines so perfect. It means a lot to me that you uh, sold her to me, guys. Appreciate that. Been looking for one of these babies for a long time. It was just a sold my old red one. And I'll actually put a picture in here, because I don't think I've ever showed you guys, of my old red truck. So, right there, my old red truck with your, uh... See, that's why I like my long box. Because I used to have one. And I love it. Leave your comments down below and let me know what favorite car you guys have. I want to know what your favorite car you've ever owned and which you still have. Drop a comment down there. I always like to know that kind of stuff. It's kind of curious, actually. I'm glad you're all here. Make sure you subscribe, too. And uh, stick around. Because we're always sticking around. So let's take a gander at her. See what's what. You ready? Here we go. Oh, dick. Look at that, Captain. Never know I even wet sanded that yesterday. There is going to be swirl marks, like I said. This is just a fine cut, right? So you're going to have swirl marks, but let me tell you what. There's a mark right here. She's gone. Man, does that look good. Freaking right it does. That's beauty. Captain? Hey? Hey, right. There's a scratch all the way around here, which is gone now. There's just two little nicks now. And I got some touch up for that. We're gonna get this thing buffed up in no time. She's gonna look mint. Can't wait. So anyways, I'm just gonna carry on. This is what I'm gonna be doing for the next little while is buffing the truck, getting it all shined up, getting the overspray off it and stuff like that. Overspray is not as bad as I thought it was on it, so that's good. But you know, it's still on it, but we'll get her off. That's what we do. But I'm glad you're all here. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Leave me any comments down below. Let me know what you think. And other than that, I'll see you on the next one. So love y'all. And you know what to do for now.